Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Defender error code 577. Cannot verify the digital signature. And it says that a recent hardware or software change might have installed a file that is signed incorrectly or damaged or that might be malicious software from an unknown source. So you're just coming across this all the time. It's not like it's just one file it's scanned. Like every time you're trying to open up Windows Defender or you're browsing just about anything, you get this security alert. So this should hopefully be able to resolve the problem here. And we're going to be trying to turn back on Windows Defender through the registry editor. So we're going to do that by opening up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best result should come back with Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you would easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. You just would go ahead and select the File tab, and then you would select Export. File name, you want to name it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select File and then Import and navigate the said file location. So again, very straightforward process here, guys. And now that you've made your backup, we are ready to begin. And we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for policies, so go ahead and double click on policies, and there should be a Microsoft folder, so go double click on that. And there should be a Windows Defender folder under here as well, so just left click on that one time. On the right side, there should be something that says disable anti-spyware. Go ahead and double click on that. Set the value data to one. So if it's zero, change that to a one, as you see on my screen here. Base should be hexadecimal. Select OK. Once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and actually back out on the left side here. We're going to collapse the Microsoft folder just by clicking on a little arrow. And you're going to also collapse the policies folder here too. So we're still under software and now we're going to go underneath a Microsoft. So go double click on the Microsoft folder now. And now scroll down to Windows Defender. So it should be somewhere near the bottom here. And we're going to go ahead and just left click on that. So now you want to look for something that says disable antivirus. And you want to set disable anti spyware and disable antivirus both to one. So this is zero, changing both to one like I showed with the other example. And then once you're done with that, restart your computer. And then hopefully I should have been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.